Hey everyone, Michael Short, let's go outdoors. It is a stunning morning, let's go fishing. Hey everyone, coming to you uh, today from Lac La Biche, a lake that has had, well, shall we say, a colorful past. And a real pleasure to be joined by Lisa Roper, who has had a special relationship with this lake over the years. So we moved to Lac La Biche when I was about 12, and uh, we moved just off of the lake, one kind of one subdivision off the lake. And to be honest, we really didn't fish Lac La Biche Lake a, a ton because there really wasn't any walleye. We couldn't find walleye. The pike were kind of non-existent, and um, there was perch, that, but that was more ice fishing. It was uh, 2007, and I caught my first walleye open water fishing. I still have that picture on my wall in my office because I was just like, yes, <laughs> I have a walleye. <laughs> and of course, Dad was on the boat, so that was great. Um, and then, yeah, just um, since 2005, we've been fishing it a lot more and uh, definitely a lot more pike at that point than walleye. And now in the last probably six, seven years, we're seeing, uh, I'm catching anyways, five to one probably walleye over pike. And uh, it, it was actually nice. I did some fishing with Jessica from Len Thompson uh, the last couple of days, and we caught some really, really he healthy pike where they, you know, just the girth was on them, the tail was looking great, the heads were good. Um, where I found in the last couple of years, the pike that we were catching were quite skinny and uh, bigger heads, almost the bellies like they had just spawned, and you know, just really, really. Um, a lot of extra skin there. So it was good to see the healthier pike right now. So one of the things that has contributed to the return of a healthier fishery here in Lac La Biche is the work that the Alberta Conservation Association, along with the Alberta Environment and Parks, has done over the years. Uh, while I were essentially extirpated from overfishing uh, decades ago, like in the 50s and the 40s and even the 60s, and uh, pike were at very low abundance. And, uh, and whitefish were fairly low abundance as well, again, from being from overfished. So in 2005, we undertook a 10-year uh, program to a uh, restoration program to restore the fishery in Lac La Biche. And as I indicated earlier, it was a multi-pronged uh, program and really had five or six uh, components to it. Uh, one was to, um, you know, to look at and improve uh, the habitat on the Owl River, where uh, walleye were the main spawning uh, grounds for walleye. And uh, the Alberta Conservation Association, we worked with them. They're, they're actually primarily doing some of that work for us, which is fantastic. Uh, we also had to reduce uh, the, the predation upon walleye that we intended to stock. So we wanted to reduce the cormorant numbers to you know, remove some of that predation pressure on them at that point in their life. And then the, sort of the third point of predation is, is they become mature or about to mature you know, in that kind of uh, 35 centimeter to you know 60 centimeter range, uh, they're very vulnerable to uh, to commercial nets, uh, commercial uh, gill nets, commercial fishing gill nets. So we stocked walleye intensively from 2006 to 2011 for six years. In that time, we stocked uh, 200 million fry, uh, and we stocked almost half a million fingerlings and we did do some adult transfers, a couple hundred fish, not, not a lot. It was something we tried, but we really realized that the, the uh, fry stocking was, was the most important. And so over six years, 200 million, that's a lot of fry, but we really felt we needed to saturate, not saturate, but really load a lot of uh, walleye, you know, young, small walleye uh, fry into the lake to overcome some of the predation pressure that they were experiencing. We, so we continue to monitor the fishery on a, at this point about a, every other year rotation and uh, so we, uh, we do uh, some some index netting in the fall to understand the uh, you know the walleye uh, and pike population as well as uh, we get an index of abundance of the prey species uh, to understand you know how they're uh, responding to you know changes in the ecosystem but also to the management changes that we make so in 2017, we uh, opened up, uh, in a modest way, uh, the sport fishery to allow uh, walleye to be caught through a tag system where we issued an, a certain number of tags. 
uh, in 2020, this year, we, uh, we liberalized the, uh, the regulation a little bit more and, uh, and are offering a slot. Now we, we implement a slot size where anglers can catch a walleye or they can retain a walleye that uh, if they catch between 50 and 55 centimeters total length. Uh, so and it's, it's one fish per day. Taking an adaptive management approach over the years has resulted in turning over this once collapsed lake into a productive recreational fishery.